Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to take a look at Tweak UIX. It comes from a guy who goes by Built by Bell. Many of you geeks have some of his software on your computer. Now, this is Win 11, Private Zilla, Clean Manager Plus. That was a really cool one. They're all cool. Ready Sun Valley, Bloatbox, Clone App. You've probably seen them if you haven't used them. All right. What we're going to do is check the video description or the little I over here to jump to this page. Click Download Now. And it is portable and it is free. Tweak UIX is designed to be similar to the old Tweak UI app from Windows XP. However, it's kind of like on steroids. So once you have the file, just extract it somewhere where you know you have it. You might want to make your own folder. For testing purposes, I'm going to leave it right here and I'm going to extract the files. Once you've extracted the files, you can see right here, you simply double click tweak UI. Oops, I'm on the wrong folder. Excuse me. Let me delete the zip so I don't get confused again. There's the folder. And you just double click tweak UIX. And there you have it. As you can see, it's designed to be simple, easy to use, personalization, disabling widgets, etc. System, paranoia, Windows Update, Gaming. Note the balloons as I line up over it. It's going to give you a hint every single time. Disabling some privacy features, diagnostic data. Now, if you're wondering, a lot of this stuff people want to disable. It can speed up your Windows 11 because it stops sending data back and forth, popping up feedback notifications, etc. You can almost uninstall most of these. You're not sure? Just try a couple. App permissions, uninstaller, and packages, and plugins. Now, plugins allows you to put any kind of available plugins that you can get for the app. Now, another thing you can consider is advanced plugins, which is Major Geeks Windows Tweaks. It's not fitting on the screen here too well. For that to show up, there it is. You have to download the file, which we've done so we can show you it. And let's go back up here real quick. I wanted to show you that you could save and load a template. You could drag it around to different computers. Somewhere in here as well. Let me find it. There it is. Create a restore point. So before you start playing around with it, most of these are pretty basic registry changes. So that means by creating a restore point, if you have a problem, you can restore at any point and not have to worry about the program breaking your computer, for example. So let's take Major Geek's Windows Tweaks. We've downloaded that. That link is also, if you're interested, right here on the page. And I think I repeated it here. So let me, I get a few too many File Explorer windows open. Let me, I've already downloaded it, I believe. Yes. So we're going to take it, whatever version it is. Now, what you want to do is put it into Apps Plugins. So Major Geek's Windows Tweaks, you click on that. You don't want to extract all the folders you want to extract the main folder. I love this because we tried to put a GUI to this and it doesn't work because there's registry files, there's batch files, there's shortcut files, there's all sorts of stuff. It doesn't really work real well. So that's why we haven't put an interface to it and we're very happy that he decided to try and incorporate it into here. So we'll click extract all. You're going to do browse and you're going to do this with any advanced plugin that is supported later. So we'll go to the desktop where I have it installed. Tweak UIX app folder, plugins folder, select that folder, and click extract. Now it takes a minute. I'm in a virtual machine, which tends to run a little slower than my own computer. And there are quite a few files in there. As you can see, there's a thousand files in there. If you were wondering while we wait for it, the nice thing about that, again, because it doesn't have an interface, a graphical user interface, a help file, they're, they're built into there. There's links in there. Adding another program would make the thing huge, but the Major Geeks Windows Tweaks stays in under one meg at the time of this video. And it'll probably take another hundred tweaks to get past that. So I don't expect to see it too long. So here it goes. So when it's done, it'll open up the folder using the built-in Windows zip. I know a lot of you don't use it. So let's take a look here. There's your Major Geeks Windows Tweaks. Let me start from scratch so you can see desktop. Tweak UIX, App, Plugins, and there's the Major Geeks Window Tweaks 
in the root as a folder in plugins. Let's run the app again. And now we go back to plugins. And again, you can't see everything. There it is. He has a link here to menu add features. So let's see if he has any right now. There you go. So here's a whole ton of stuff. Presets of tweaks. Again, you want to be a little more careful with this stuff. Some of this is a little more advanced user, in my opinion. If you use a D bloat Windows, it can be a little risky. You really want to back up for that. Removing OneDrive, that's a little safer cleaning up windows so it's going to use his own clean MGR tool which by the way is really good it basically allows you to clean your drive better than what's built in without having to really have a huge file it's basic but it's good all right so we're going to go to what we're talking about that's advanced plugins and again you got to make it fit your screen so you can see everything because our file names in here are long so here you have it here are all our folders so there's a couple things you can do. Let's say you wanted to hide the scroll bars in Windows 10 apps. There is your default. There's your disable. And if you're not real sure about it, you got questions, if you click on the Major Geeks tutorial link, which is in every page, open it in any browser you want, and that gives you the opportunity to load the page and read through. And in some cases, you can actually make the changes yourself manually. And if not, at least explains to you, for example, here, perfect shows you how you can do it right in settings if you don't want to use the registry file that's one of the things we like about the major geeks window tweaks is we like to give you the options so I'm sure a lot of people think I put a tutorial link in there for traffic it doesn't hurt but there's more to it than just simply coming to our website there's reasons for that so there you have it so let's say I want to disable it disable automatically hiding scroll bars in Windows 10 should work in Windows 11 as you can see it just runs the registry file if you've ever done it before Click yes, 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 okay, done. There you have it, change your mind, hit default, yes, okay. It actually, the nice thing about it too, which I didn't realize as I was doing this is, it removes the user account control prompt. You don't have to do that, so it makes things easier. So if you don't see something you want in here, grab the Major Geeks Windows tweaks, find the folder, your context menu stuff. You see we got tons of stuff in here networking blah 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 you get the point so there you have it once again check the video description for a link to download this it's free it's portable which means if you don't like it, it no risk to use it just try it out you don't like it you go goodbye to our windows tweaks don't do that and delete the folder and once again it's going to take a little longer because the major geeks window tweaks are in it once that folder is gone so is the application. There's no uninstall, no nothing. So feel free to give it a try. Again, free and portable. So there you have it. You know the drill in the bottom right hand corner. Click subscribe. Thanks for following through the whole video with us. And hopefully we'll see you again next time.